Hey guys, King Adu here, just uh, giving you a quick update on the markets this evening. And uh, just wanted to point out that Ripple um, is having a very high volume right now, and it looks like it's starting to break out of its consolidation, change directions, it's trending upward right now. Just something to keep a close eye on, especially if you own it. Um, it yeah, as we all know, Ripple can make a 20%, 30%, 50%, even 100% move in just minutes. So just something cool to watch in real time. So I'm keeping an eye on that. Uh, something else I wanted to take a look at was Gollum because I did a technical analysis yesterday. And it uh, looks pretty good. Um, it's at about 1300 right now. So yesterday, just after my video, it did break up. It broke out of that triangle, which was fantastic. And so that was about 24 hours ago. And it was this right over here on the left side. Um, and it broke out quite a bit, um, and then it went ahead and tumbled back down. So um, it touched a, uh, a new resistance, and we have a new bottom down here um, for support. So right now, this is the range. Uh, you can uh, basically you can see it on the screen here. You're looking at about um, a uh, let's see, let's get this just right for you guys. Um, 11.79. And uh, your new ceiling is about 1350, 1360. So you want to be uh, uh, picking up some golem in that range if you believe it's going to go up. So if that's what you're thinking, uh, keep your eyes peeled, um, set some orders in that range, pick up some golem. Um, I'm going to be doing some reviews this evening of different tools and things like that. Um, I'm going to be taking a look at the Brave browser. Um, mainly because uh, we're going to be talking a lot about an ICO coming up very soon about basic attention token. So be on the lookout for that. Um, I'm also going to be doing um, a little bit. I got a request for some newer folks out there to cover um, how to actually change or uh, from like Bitcoin to um, Ethereum and things like that. And so I'm actually going to go ahead and get into that one. Um, right away so that you can take a look uh, if you're not familiar now if you're familiar with Changely um, that's the one I'm going to be taking a look at right now um, but let's go ahead and do that really quickly because it shouldn't take long so if you know what it is bear with me as I pop on over to Changely now as you can see here this is a very simple website it does require that you have a wallet um, down below I've added a new wallet link for people that need a wallet um, it's one I recommend um, and it's actually awesome so it's Exodus IO down there click that link get a wallet make sure you back it up properly and you should be good to go so you can come here and you can actually type in um, how much you want to buy of something and you can even use credit cards on this website and essentially what you're going to do is you're going to tell it I want to exchange for whichever currency you want so a lot of you probably have Bitcoin in fact you get free Bitcoin if you use my link below to sign up for Coinbase and maybe you buy a um, hundred dollars of Bitcoin you'll get ten dollars more but then maybe you decide you want to change it to Ethereum now if that's what you want to do um, you would come here and you would type in your Bitcoin so if you got um, one Bitcoin um, and you want to go ahead and change that to Ethereum, you would do it like so. Next, you're going to hit just exchange here, and it's basically going to confirm. Um, it's also going to tell you the exchange rate. Um, it's going to estimate how long it'll take to get there. Um, right now, the blockchain for Bitcoin is quite slow, so that's how come it's going to take a long time, and that's what that forecasting is about. Uh, next, you type in where you want the Ether sent. So when you download your wallet, um, you or if you already have one, you just need to copy and paste that in here. Always triple double check those last few characters. Make sure you got the right address. And then you proceed to a confirmation screen. Um, let me see if I can get one going here. Um, but essentially, on the confirmation screen, it's just going to go ahead and confirm what you saw in the send to screen and on the amount screen. Uh, they just really, really make sure that you know what you're doing. And then essentially it exchanges it for you. Um, your Bitcoin is going to disappear from your Bitcoin address and your Ether is going to show up in your Ether address. So 
just want to do a one-on-one on that or just give a recommendation because I've had a few people comment and ask me. Most of you know this type of stuff, though. Um, but if you don't, there you go. So um, other things that are on the horizon that's coming up real soon. Um, actually, tomorrow we have the uh, Ethereal Summit. And I wanted to highlight the sponsors. Uh, Consensus will be there, Singular DTV, Microsoft, and Crutch Fund, uh, Rockwood Management, and Venture One. So if you're familiar with these uh, companies, uh, Singular DTV is actually um, uh, in relation to the Ethereum uh, blockchain. So uh, keep that in mind that uh, they're actually going to be there speaking about Ethereum. Um, and how they built their coin on it and things like that. Um, Microsoft, um, guys, if you believe in all these coins, you might as well just be investing in Microsoft. I can't believe all of the things that they're sponsoring. They, um, they're they backing this community big time, and we need to support them. And I also believe that they're positioning themselves to take, take the crown back um, and be a leader in the tech space. Um, the things that they've been doing are awesome they literally have a chief like blockchain officer um and people with title like there are ca like at least a dozen people there that have the word blockchain in their title guys they take it very seriously um and it's the real deal so um maybe that's an investment opportunity to diversify if you're looking for ways to get in a blockchain or maybe the whole crypto thing freaks you out and you're really interested right now, but you're familiar with stocks. Um, maybe you want to take a look at Microsoft's long-term play in the blockchain. Uh, it could it, it could pay out exponentially for them in the long run, so take a look at them. But I just wanted to highlight this. Um, the Ethereal Summit is actually tomorrow, and I wanted to just read out loud to you guys uh, the program uh, to give you a sense of what's being talked about tomorrow. Um, to also maybe perk your ears up and kind of get you excited about what's coming up later this month with consensus. And as you all know, we're, we're really waiting for that because that is sponsored by Coindesk. And that is the premier uh, blockchain uh, conference in New York at Marquise. And uh, definitely something that when that time comes around and is rolling around, you're going to be getting a lot of breaking news from me and everyone else everyone else because uh there's going to be a lot of cool deals going down and people making awesome announcements so just keep your uh ears peeled i'm going to be covering a lot of that so if you're into that kind of stuff make sure you subscribe because i'll be covering a lot but i want to walk you through this um the titles of the program so this one is a world without middlemen and they're going to be talking about ethereum at that one understand blockchain in 15 minutes with an expert ask me anything uh, we've got nation operating system uh, prototyping the future government on a blockchain that is super cool uh, building a technology of inclusion uh, which is driving openness and transparency that one I'm all about um, I have in my day-to-day -day, I have to deal with e-commerce counterfeit quite a bit and blockchain is the solution to that not just a short-term solution, but like the permanent final solution to counterfeit issues online. And uh, I'm really excited about seeing what comes out of that. Uh, creators first. So this is kind of like in line with the things I've been sharing like with Steam, where it's like you create the content, why should Reddit benefit from you, right? So Reddit benefits when you create content that's good and post it there for people to upvote. Uh, when even YouTube's benefiting right now from you watching this, right? I'm not getting anything. I'm not getting a dime from this unless you guys support me um, or go over to Steam it and upvote me. I might get some Steam, but, you know, um, YouTube gets everything, right? The ad that you maybe saw um, that's maybe on your screen right now somewhere, things like that. Um, the future of the internet is making sure that the people creating the content are getting paid for creating the content and uh, that's that's a good thing i think that's a good thing uh people who create the best content deserve uh to be rewarded so I, i'm looking forward to the future of content on the internet uh the token economy 
is uh, going to be a topic. Uh, man, there's going to be a ton of tokens coming out in the next year. Um, I'm, I'm really interested on that one. Uh, they're going to be talking about uh, cryptocurrencies and crowdfunding using tokens and things like that, um, which is really cool. Uh, there's a talk on global financial institutions. You guys may have heard about Ripple. Um, that's a that's going to be a topic of discussion there. Um, open source entrepreneurship: the future of venture capital. Now, that one I'm super interested in. Um, there's some new technology coming out um, on Ethereum uh, very soon, and I'm going to be covering it here for you guys. So if you I mean if you want to know more about this, make sure you subscribe. Um, I'm going to actually be covering about how we can actually govern a company uh, decentralized. You could actually run your own company on a blockchain. Um, and that's the future, guys. Like, it's still crazy to me that with technology and computers, just how many companies still um, are so hardcore about, hey, everyone, we got to get in a building and work together all day. Um, and then basically you go and you work all day and you don't even talk to the person next to you all day and then you go home, right? And that's not true for every position. I know um, leadership positions, you, you, you talk to a lot of people and you need to be there and I'm all for that. But we also know that technology bridges that gap, right? And we can, we can video conference and things of that nature. But I'm super interested in what will be the first decentralized successful company right like what is the first uh, company that's that gets uh, uh valued at a billion dollars right so that's something that intrigues me and that's something that i'm looking for i want to find that before before it hits a billion right i want to find that opportunity so um super cool the next one is take your digital freedom starting with your data oh take back your digital freedom starting with your data so that one's pretty cool uh, they're talking about who actually owns your data right um so that one's pretty cool a penny for your thoughts tokenizing the attention economy um cons man that's not even a word consensus consensus consumption consensus consumption starts with the supply chain Interesting. As consensus consumers increasingly demand to know the story behind the products they buy, businesses are taking a serious look at their supply chain to guarantee high standards of authenticity, sustainability, and ethical behavior. I'm sorry, guys. My dog just nailed my nailed my camera. He is killing me right now. Um, he is he is a huge dog. You guys, I don't know if you guys met my dog yet. Uh, maybe I can introduce him to you here soon. There's a reason just to, like, to subscribe, right? So um, this this talk right here is awesome. So earlier I was, I was talking about trying to stop counterfeit, right? Well, have you ever stopped and thought about like, like, like what's actually in your food? Like you ever wonder if people are counterfeiting your food? Um, it's a very real problem. Um, I work in health and personal care, so a lot of supplements and vitamins. Um and that's an unbelievably real problem. Um, there's a lot of companies and brands out there that don't really tell you the truth. There's a lot of them that say they're transparent and they want to do the right thing. But then like when you actually deep dive what's going on in the company, or even if you talk to people who work there, there's these hidden secrets and there's these things that are proprietary and they give them funny names and trademarks. And you're just like, well, what is that? Oh, we can't tell you what that is. That's our thing. Okay. I thought you were transparent. Oh, we are. Okay. So why aren't you telling me? So the 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 change is coming soon um, because that entire industry uh, at, at Expo West, which is the largest uh, health and personal care um, convention on the on the West Coast, um, it's a it's a big deal in that industry. This year, that was basically the theme. Everyone's like, oh, I'm transparent. I'm transparent. And it's just like, okay, well, if everyone's transparent, that's cool. That's good for people. But um, no one's actually stepping up and backing it up with the technology to prove it. Blockchain's going to allow that. The first supplement company to, to adopt blockchain and, and 
properly market it, like make it consumable for the consumer, the first one to do that is going to dominate that industry and disrupt that industry because for the first time ever, they don't even have to say that they're transparent. They can show it to you. You can see it for yourself. That's pretty cool. What if you could trace your food back to the distributor, all the way back to the farmer, all the way to back to the batch of seeds he used, following that batch to which crop it was taken from? Pretty cool, right? Makes you wonder how far back you could go. <laughs> but so that that for me... I think is one of the most exciting things in cryptocurrency. You guys are looking for like big time opportunities of where you want to put your money. You're looking for that kind of stuff. Real practical business solutions that's going to disrupt an industry. So that one for me is really, really exciting. Um, I haven't seen anybody really do an ICO or have anything planned to really attack that. I do know there are some companies out there, um, independent companies that are using blockchain. Uh, one. To, to, to try to to try to do this but i'm mostly seeing it in physical goods um more anti-counterfeit side of things than uh the supplement side or the food side but i believe in a day where you can walk into your local store and with your phone you can actually validate the, even the piece of meat that you're buying right when was the cow killed what was the cow's name things like that so it's coming it's coming uh the people the the people are already demanding it and people vote with their dollar and the first person to garner those votes are going to win and they're going to get a lot of money so uh, let's move on um, interlocking futures blockchain and ai vr and robotics now when it comes to ai um i've read this once so i'm not some like genius quoting this or the first time you're hearing it but the blockchain is like cocaine or crack or heroin for artificial intelligence. Because it's so precise and transparent and accurate and trustworthy and the fact that it exists forever, we're talking about AI being able to de dive so deep, so deep into an endless wealth of transactions and contracts. It's mind-blowing when you start thinking about AI applied to blockchain. Right now, AI is limited by the data sets available, right? But what if you could plug into a system that allowed you to get access to everyone's data sets, to everyone who's choosing to be transparent? That's pretty cool. It's a long ways away, but it's super cool. Uh, reporting on a revolution, what's at stake for media covering tech. So that's more of a maybe one that I should probably attend uh, if, since I'm trying to bring you the best news I can. And uh, and for me right now, it's just a hobby. Just I'm just having fun getting to know you guys. Um, next, powering up the clean tech reinvention of the energy grid. That's cool. You guys may have heard the other day there is some news about that broke about um, a new blockchain exchange about peop about energy companies being able to properly track who's buying energy and where it's being diverted to and things like that. So you actually have a blockchain transaction that connects every single step in the energy process. That's kind of crazy because essentially energy companies are selling and reselling and reselling and reselling and reselling and that original guy who sold it right the original person who sold that energy really wants to know where that energy actually ended up so he can sell direct take out all those middlemen make more profit and give a better deal to the end user it's a win 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 and guess who probably is going to win in the end you will probably get a lower electricity rate awesome everyone wins um Farm to Chain, Building Sustainable Global Villages. I'm really passionate about this one, guys. I believe that blockchain is what's actually going to set the world free from poverty. Um, you know, Microsoft right now 
um, has a campaign where they're where they're putting um, tablets in the hands of people in China that live on the outskirts and don't have access to a lot of technology. By handing them a tablet, they literally now have access to banking. They never had access to banking before. They don't have an ATM or any any bank to go get a loan. But now, that community has a way to transact among one another. Um, farmers can then sell their goods to um, any, anyone that wants them, right? Um, and get paid on the spot, get paid instantly. It's pretty cool stuff. Um, there's a company right now that's working on making $30 smartphones as well. Their goal is to get at a price point of thirty dollars, and uh, so that they, they can bring it to Africa. So there will be a day where we can start uh, sending um, smartphones um, into villages, into tribes, so that they can actually do the same thing. Uh, it's economic empowerment. Uh, we're gonna set them free, and uh, it's gonna be really cool. So very passionate about that one. Uh, disrupt or be disrupted. New business models in a decentralizing world. Uh, that one's cool. Uh, again, I was talking earlier about uh, decentralized businesses, so that looks like it's more on that topic. State of play. The next level in esports and gaming. Uh, blockchain um, and gaming are have been related for quite a while, mostly because of the miners um, using a lot of the graphics cards. Um, and so it, it's kind of a no-brainer that if you're at college and in a dorm room, you're not paying for electricity. I'm going to leave this thing running all day, especially since that's beer money. Let's be real. So out there somewhere, some guy's pretty happy about his $5 he's making every day mining some Ethereum, right? So, um, yeah, that's, that's no surprise, but, um, I'm actually really big into esports. um, and uh, uh, every year I attend one of the largest, in fact, the largest e-sporting event in the world. And um, those, those, those people are extremely forward-thinking, ext extremely bright. Um, most of them are quite wealthy. If you think about it, it makes sense. Uh, not many people can afford high-end, nice PCs. Um, so usually the crowd at these events are, um, th there's actually a lot of millionaires, which are funny. Uh, to kind of hang out with and see them out of their element, but um, just a lot of more high, they have more wealth than most, um, but they're also extremely intelligent, and uh, it's pretty cool, that community. Um, if you're not into esports or you think video games are a joke, well, that's okay, but um, there's a very, very real connection there. Um, there's a lot of gambling that goes on, too, in esports, and that's probably going to be discussed in this um, but let me read it to you. Uh, meet the minds transforming the way we play. More often than not, entertainment, esports, and gaming actually lead the adoption of new technologies, bringing other industries along in their wake. Virtual reality is already an excellent example of this phenomenon. Explore how decentralizing technologies, tokens, and novel business models are bringing about revolutions in experience, safety, and fun. So right now, there's actually an esports team that's funded completely um, through smart contracts um, is crowdsourced, which is pretty cool, which means like if you ever o wanted to own your own sports team, you could own a piece of it, things like that. It's pretty cool. You can actually support the players directly and things like that. Um, so enough about eSports. I'll dive into that more probably as we get closer to August, closer to when I uh, go to the event I go to every year. Um, next, uh, when wellness gets personal data access in the future of health um, my wife works at a hospital um, and she can relate with this situation but essentially we're talking about technology to where for the first time in history your health records uh, can be shared instantly anywhere in the world right so if you have serious health problems if uh, you go on a vacation with these health problems and you come you become ill you get sick um what's really really cool is that you're actually going to be able to get your records instantly it doesn't even matter that it's a different doctor it might not even matter that he can't even speak your language in the future right 
that is what this world needs. Right now we are uh, oppressed into this weird healthcare system and every country has their own and it's it's awkward and way too expensive. Uh, a lot of the expense and overhead comes from all of the paperwork we have to keep doing. Um, I work uh, in my with practitioners actually a little bit um, in e-commerce and what's really interesting is that I've been told that practitioners spend 80% of their time doing paperwork. And that's because practitioners usually only see a patient one time and they never come back. And every single time you have a new one, you have to do all this paperwork in case they do come back. Well, what if you just put everything on the blockchain? Wow. That means if the paperwork was already done at some point, it's done for every doctor, and it can follow you everywhere. You should own your health records, not someone else, not an individual. That is, like, messed up that somebody, like, can own it, and, like, you can't easily transfer it. It takes so much work. My wife was just talking about she works at one of the largest hospitals in the area. Sorry, I'm going to kill my dog. Man, I'm going to kill my dog. He's just too cute, though. My wife works at one of the largest hospitals in the area, and it's a huge deal because they finally just connected to another hospital in town, their databases, to get all the records synced. I'm like, what? It's, two thousand, it's 2017. Like, that sounds like something that should have been done in the 90s, right? That, you know, especially a hospital, right? So... The healthcare industry, I think, is one of the biggest opportunities for blockchain. I think healthcare will be nothing like it is in 20 years because of blockchain, solely because of blockchain. And I think that's super exciting. I think it's going to set a lot of people free. Uh, a lot of people who need help are going to get help. Um, and then the average Joe like me isn't going to feel oppressed to... Uh, by the system. I'm not going to feel like I have to um, go to the same doctor every single time. You know, it's almost like if you don't like your doctor, it's such a pain to switch to a new one, right? Just, right? So I'm a big believer in that. I am desperately looking for investment opportunities for someone who's going to disrupt the healthcare industry. So moving on, liquid democracy, uh, crypto anarchy, uh, that one's interesting. Voting on the blockchain, things like that. Um, you guys should check out ARC. That is a coin. Uh, ARC has a very interesting voting system with like delegates. Um, I'm going to try to cover that one in a future video. It's extremely complex, um, but I think it does a good job of explaining all the possibilities with governance and um, voting systems. So... Keep an eye out for that. Subscribe if you want to hear that one in the future. A global marketplace, the next frontier in financial inclusion. Singular DTV, building a decentralized entertainment economy. Um, if you guys aren't familiar with Singular DTV, check it out. It's like smart contracts for entertainment. Super cool. Um, when crypto goes global, Bitcoin and developing economies. Again, uh I'm a big believer in, in um, helping um, helping third world countries develop, giving them opportunities. You know, me personally, and this is just something personal about myself, I really, really don't like just um, giving my money uh, to like the Red Cross or like, um, you know, I will in disasters and things like that. Um, but I am really passionate about creating opportunities for people. I think that if, you know, I have an opportunity to donate money to, like, build a bridge for a village, that's a, that's more powerful than, than most things I could do. That's more powerful than, you know, maybe f uh, feeding a family for 
um, a while. Now, those things are super important. Don't get me wrong. It's just my personal uh, belief system. Um, you know, I want to leave more behind on the planet than just like, you know, um, you know, just feeding a couple people. I'd like to feed a whole village. I'd like to um, empower a whole village, uh, educate them, um, give them opportunities, uh, bring jobs, bring financial empowerment, um, long-term sustainable improvements, right? Um, there's too much of the world that's still in poverty. It's uh, 2017. I'm drinking a Mountain Dew. Um, of course, I'm the king of Dew, but I'm, I'm drinking a Mountain Dew that costs more than what that than an entire village could could actually make in value in an entire day of work. It's messed up. It needs to be fixed. It can be fixed. Um, it's wrong that uh, society and humanity hasn't addressed it properly yet. The technology is there, and it's so easy now. We got to fix it. So, I'll talk about those things more in uh, future videos. Um, so that's pretty much it, guys, for what's coming up. There's um, the Network Society of the Future as well, how we can prepare for a future transformed by breakthrough technologies. It's very vague. And then this one down here, uh, Ethereum, taking back control of the Internet. Um, and So you guys, uh, you guys uh, follow the channel if you want to learn more about these type of topics. These are the things that I'm passionate about. Those are the things that I want to talk about on this channel. Um, I want to talk about disruption. I want to talk about opportunity. Um, and I want to talk about freedom. Um, those, are, those are the things that I like to talk about. Um, I'll, do, I'll do some technical analysis. You guys are bugging me so much for it. I'll do some from time to time. Um, I will um, try my best to keep bringing you breaking news. I, you know, I have a real life. I'm a real person like you. Um, so, you know, I have a job. I can't always break everything, but I'm working really hard on, on doing that for you guys. Um, I'm keeping an eye out. I'm looking at ways I can do it while I'm at, uh, not while I'm at work. I can't do it while I'm working, but, um, you know, I, I, I know I can stream from work if I need to break something at, at lunch, um, if I need to do it on my way to work and things like that. So um, I'm, I'm building this channel out. The response has been ridiculous. Uh, I want to thank everyone for subscribing. I broke 100 subscribers in just a week of doing this. That means a lot to me. It also says that you guys are enjoying what I'm, what I'm bringing to you. And I wanted to give you guys today an idea of what I'll be bringing to you in the future. And, I've, and, I, and I was reading through this ethereal summit and I said, you know what? These topics that they're talking about tomorrow align directly with what like I'm excited about. Like if I went to this event, I would get way too excited. I would be floored after leaving this event. I'd be inspired. And that's really the kind of things that I want to talk about on this channel. So if that's uh, interesting to you, please subscribe. The other thing you can do is click on the link in the description to go to Steemit. If you have a Steemit account, you'd be my hero if you upvoted everything. <laughs> But at least upvote this video and follow me there. Make sure you follow me there because then I'll be in your feed and you can keep supporting me by voting there. Um, again, a vote on Steam it is literally I, I actually receive uh, Steam currency, um, which is a huge help. And I'm just piling that up. That's like my that's going to be my nest egg. So uh, I appreciate it. Uh, my daughter appreciates her college fund growing. So <laughs> um, keep it up, guys. Um, like this video, give me a follow. Um, I'll be back with more tonight. So stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe. I'm going to be back with more, um, content for you guys. And I really, again, I appreciate you guys, uh, putting up with me and, uh, I hope to talk with you soon. I'm King Adu. May the force be with you.